he's oh, hammering boy. away. Oh boy. I'm done. I'm gonna, and become the MCW champ! Oh! Spike away from. Uh oh! They'll move! Oh! oh! Spike! Oh my god! The following contest is a steel cage match, and it is for the MCW Heavyweight Championship. Here are the rules. The only way to win this match is by pinfall or submission inside the cage. No escape, no excuses. Hey, you hear that? No escape, Big Bang! I'm gonna whoop you! Introducing first, the challenger. He is from PG County, Maryland. Weighing in at 300 pounds. My left, he is from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in tonight at 195 pounds. He is the MCW Heavyweight Champion, the Mecca, Brian Johnson. Big fight feel here at Seasons Beatings in the MCW arena. This this is one of the biggest matches we've ever had here, guys. You look across at your opponent, you trash talk. Brian Johnson did a little bit of it. Moses just said, I'm gonna kill you. No gray area. Not I'm gonna hurt you, not I'm gonna win. I'm going to kill you. You may have to kill him to take that championship off him. You heard him as he entered the cage yelling that MCW was his company. You know, a lot of friends not made on behalf of Brian Johnson since arriving. Oh, wow! First blood drawn, that powder thrown in the eyes. Moses is blind. I mean, that is as dirty as it gets. But guess what? You're in there with an animal. You got to do what you got to do. You call it dirty. I call it smart. Do what you got to do. The referee reading him the riot act. But the thing is, that referee, he's officiating this match, but he's not having to stare across the ring, locked in a cage with an animal. A man that literally just threatened him with death. Oh, Jesus! Moses, you gotta think, thought that was Brian Johnson tossing the ref. Oh, look at that! That Philadelphia locomotive! Now there's nobody there. I was gonna say, what do we do now? Well, we take our shirt off. Brian Johnson going to the outside, the Mecca. Got to be looking for some plunder. And a toolbox will do. Mayhem is going to ensue. This is not for the faint of heart. If you got a weak stomach, turn off Rage TV now. This one is going to be ugly. That is a full toolbox. Those things weigh 50 pounds. Well, it, even took, it took something out of Brian Johnson to hit him with it, so. so. Are we just keeping the referee in there? Brian Johnson locking the cage. I mean, this is a brave move. I didn't think he would be the one to lock it. Hey, he said that it's Mecca versus everybody, and he's proven it. He is taking the fight to Moses. And that's what he's got to do if he hopes to be victorious in this heavyweight title defense. Now, Moses, blind, has not recovered. I think the referee was going over there to give him some water to get the uh, he had a wash powder. Of yeah, and, and Moses sort of bit the hand that fed him. Emptying out that toolbox. Dare I say that'll put a wrench in things? Yeah, this is, this is certainly, uh, certainly going to get violent, no doubt about it. Again to the midsection. He's of hammering Moses. away. Oh boy. I'm done now. How many, I'm going to say, how many of these do you got? This will be Wrestling! I don't think he was helping much. He was not like, no, it's some mommy issues perhaps on the part of the Mecca, but it served him well. He's a curmudgeon. He's he's a proverbial Scrooge of MCW. Hasn't made many friends, no friends, any friends. 
whether it be the powers that be. Oh, oh going to work with those pliers already. Whether it be the powers that be, you got to believe they didn't envision Me Mecca being the MCW champ at the end of Bruiser Strong. Hasn't made any friends with the boys in the locker room. He doesn't care. As you said, Ricky, it's Mecca versus everybody. Mecca versus everybody, and now he's using the, the, the zip ties? Yeah, zip ties just choke the life out of Moses. I mean, those are used to handcuff someone of Moses' size. Those are used by serial killers to strangle people. This is, uh, it's getting dark, Kim. Don't look at me like that. This crap is going to get dark, and it's already, the, the shades are drawn. This is getting ugly in a hurry. Well, you might be used by serial killers. Moses did say that he was going to kill him. He said he was going to have to make bail before the end of this one. All those uppercuts. Do you understand those body blows? What they got to feel like coming from a 300 plus pounder? Even from a, a kneeled position, Moses' power is incomparable. Brian definitely doesn't need power as long as he's got that chain right there in his hand. The Mecca Brian Johnson dropping the fist with that chain. He has this one firmly in the bag, at least in his mind. But I wouldn't count Moses out. However, if you can't see, you can't fight. And you don't know what's coming. I mean, we're saying, oh no, here comes the chain. Moses doesn't know that. He doesn't know who's coming, what's coming. Well, what was coming there is that unforgiving steel that steel fencing has no feeling, no love, very little give. It will literally rake and razor the flesh off of the bone of any competitor who is unfortunate enough to be introduced to it. This is exactly what Brian Johnson did not want to happen. You don't want Moses on his feet. And you don't want to get into an exchange of blows with Moses. You're not going to win, Brian. And let's be honest, you don't want to be locked in the cage with him. Well, there's that. Oh, what a headbutt. And an STO on the part with that leg sweep from Moses. It looks like Moses has cleared out the cobwebs and the oh. obstruction from the eyes. Head first. Oh, and a fader like clothesline topples the champ. Moses dominant. And again, measuring him, drops him, does Moses. Oh, but there's no ref. There's no ref, and that's only one man's fault. And in my opinion, that's the Mecca Brian Johnson. Even if Moses did throw the ref into the cage, it was on account of that powder in the eyes to Moses. Moses thought it was Brian Johnson approaching him, not the ref. But right there, we should. it should be over. New champ. It would be new champ. Moses would be leaving here. Mecca would be shut up. No more Mecca Championship Wrestling. We can go back to our regularly scheduled program here on Rage TV. Look at that. Moses doesn't even know what happened. He didn't realize that he was the one who did that. He, he opened his eyes and the rest sleeping on the job. Oh, no. I don't know if that's going to help. <laughs> it woke him up. Oh, man. Bad day to be a ref. Look at the Mecca. Utilizing that top rope. Everything in this ring is a weapon. What a clothesline. Drops the big man Moses. You know he's sacrificing his own arm and rotator cuff, executing the clothesline on somebody as solid as Moses. Look at this, looking for that neck breaker. Oh, but he reverses process. it. He calls that the process, Brent. Shooting that half out of the process. Whoa, Moses just, just kicked barely. it out. Woo. And the Mecca now wondering. I wonder, was that actually all a part of Brian Johnson's plan? That he would just systematically dismantle Moses and then when the time was right, go for the cover. Now that the referee is back up. You got to think. I have to think. Brian Johnson's always got a plan. He's got a plan A, a plan B, and a plan C. Sometimes a plan D, E, and F. This and he's got a lot oh, of Oh, he definitely has a plan now. Yeah, this is a plan. F is in, you're going to get F'd up on these various T-bars and, and, and various ratchets and clanks and things of that nature in the middle of the ring. 
What well, could he be going for that process again, Ricky? One to the. Oh, oh my God! Wrenches into your back, coming from ten feet in the air. The steel and cage is bad enough, but landing on all those tools. And this soldier of savagery, looking to live up to his name and become the MCW champ. Oh! Into the steel! Oh, and he slid down the cage. Oh, the Samoan drop into the cutter. Cover two. Oh! Oh, oh and Moses can't even believe that. I can't believe it either. But this is where you just want to scream. Stay on him. You got him. Yeah, but the fight. The fight in Brian Johnson, you can like him or love him or hate him. I think most people dislike him and hate him. I think Moses he is a fighter. Do, Moses has to do exactly what he said. He's going to have to kill Brian Johnson to get that championship. Pry it from his cold, dead hands, so to speak. And that may be what the outcome of this match is. I don't see either of these gladiators giving either quarter, either space, either reprieve. Oh, body shots, man, they'll take a ton out of you. Exchanging the blows, and Brian Johnson once again going, going to those eyes. Right back to the eyes. Oh, man, there's no escape, Brian. You locked the cage I'm gonna say, he was the one who locked it. Oh, and he's just sandwiching him, pancaking him against that steel. The steel is not your friend. That cage is a career shortener. Oh, wait, he, he, took, he the took the buckle, buckle off. off. Wow. How devious. How divisive is Brian Johnson? Quick. You, the, you, yeah, the presence of mind. Yeah. You're getting squished against the cage on three out of four sides, and then you still have that second and a half to take the turnbuckle. He's a chess player, man. He is, oh, and there goes. Moses right into that top exposed turnbuckle. That's pure metal, a metal ring on top of that buckle. Brian Johnson, even when he's on the defense, he's got a plan. Even when he's on the uh, behind the proverbial eight ball, he's mustering back in offense, planning three steps, ten steps ahead. What is that? I think, the, I think that's still the zip ties. I was using it as a whip. I don't know if you heard, but the referee was asking if. Moses wanted to give it up, but you have to believe that there's no way that Moses is going to just give up. Going to quit? Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. What's he trying to do? Is he trying to fasten the arm and hand of Moses? But if you zip tie him here, you can't pin him where you can't win. But you can hurt him. And you can take away one of his best tools. That power game in that left arm. I think with Moses, if you don't stop his part, you're not going to stop him. Moses is in the confines of that zip tie on that top rope. He's a sitting duck. This is the time for Brian Johnson to bring out that. He's got a mallet, and he's going to execute this maneuver with malice aforethought. Ooh. A mallet. A goddamn mallet to the back of the head. Of Moses! This is brutality personified. So what is he just gonna just gonna hurt him until Moses can't fight back anymore? Moses is spending a season in hell with Brian Johnson inside this steel cage and those pliers, those wire cutters. No, but what this allows is for Brian Johnson to take his why, time. Why is there a spike? Why is there a spike in the ring? There's a spike for sure. Oh my God, he could take out his eye. This is reminiscent of Tully Blanchard and Magnum TA in their battle. Where Tully almost lost his eye. Looks like, whoop, finally got that. Spike away from, uh oh. They'll move the oh! spike. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. He just, did he just impale the skull? He, he impaled him and now he's using it to get free. Look at that. That's genius. He's genius. Unscrewing the turnbuckle. 
Moses will tear apart the entire ring to get his hands on Brian. Yes, he will dismantle this entire ring, the entire cage, this entire arena if he has to, to take oh, over that title. And he did it. The Suc beast is loose. Success. He's no, he's wrench. still stuck on there, the turnbuckle. But he, can, but he can still go at him. He's more maneuverable. He can move around a bit. Into that cage goes Brian Johnson. The bald head that was punctured and brutalized by that metal spike. I mean, he may have one less limb, but he can still use that cage as a weapon. In any other situation, this would be attempted murder. Here at MCW and professional wrestling inside that steel cage, it is a heavyweight title match. This is violence on a level we have never seen. Oh, I think you, I think you remember those pliers. Look, he's trying to cut that that zip tie successfully. Well, he was doing a hell of a job with one arm, and now he's got both. Oh, I think Brian's screwed now. The blessed one versus the stressed one. Steel Cage em encompasses their entire beings. Who will leave the MCW heavyweight champ? Look at me, Brian. You tried everything. I'm still fucking standing, bro. Well, that said it all, it needs no description. Oh, he's going for that power bomb again. Oh, wow. Moses, uh, it looked like Brian was holding on to that rope still. He won't let go. He thinks as long as he has that rope. Oh! That was unfortunate. What an unfortunate turn of events for Moses. I don't care how big you are, how tough you are. If you get hit in the nuts. Did Brian, did Brian plan that, or was that a complete accident, you though? You gotta think. Oh, that, that was not an accident. If he didn't plan it, he's going to capitalize on it. Using that whole buckle against the head. Oh, my God. There it is. There's that process. Did he survive? Did he win? Oh, my no Lord. Way. By the skin of his teeth and the hair on his chin.